we're back. Welcome back to Cleo Games. We're playing Outer Worlds. We're about to go back to the unreliable, start up the ship, do great things, level up some more, shoot some stuff. I'm trying to limit my cursing within the first three seconds of the video because, you know, viewership or something. I don't know, apparently you get demonetized if you curse within the first 30 seconds and last 30 seconds of videos. But, uh, as we all know, at the last 30 seconds of my videos, I say, I'm out this bitch, so. Is this your ship? Oh. Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive, Mom? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Mm-hmm. Um... Well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come No. Here? I could tend to your engine. You can. I know my G-valves for my nope. catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. I'm okay. Just kidding. And you if can you come. ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Come on. I'm glad to have you along. Pick a cabin. Sure. Yes. I mean, uh, thanks. You won't regret this, ma'am. I better not. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Great, come on, because you just wasted, like, a, a whole two minutes of my time. And by two minutes, I mean a minute and a half. There's what's-his-face. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs. Boy, I'll shoot you right in your eyeball. Who he think he talking to, for real, for real? Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness she to looks like me. time in the local community. What can I do for you, Captain? Do you know how to install a power regulator? No. Of course I can. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Cool. So, oh, that was a wall there. Up the ladders. There we go. I wish it. <laughs> There's just so many things I wish just happened on their own, like climbing ladders. Why do I have to press a button? There she climbs. Ooh, <laughs> crikey. <laughs> Took that L. Broke her leg. What can I do for you, Captain? I installed the thing. All systems are operating with an acceptable parameters. Beautiful. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Great, let's get out of here. Because we all know I can't get that stupid thing yet. Bastard. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. I wish these cutscenes took flight, but I digress. However, I will say I'm excited because in like 10 minutes, I'm going to have curly fries from my air fryer. And if that's not like the most heavenly thing during this quarantine time, I don't know what is. You know? Great. This better be quick. Based on my initial calculations of Dr. Wells' personality, that seems highly unlikely. Beautiful. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Um, I can slow down time. 
Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Um... I have a word with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. Mm-hmm. I call it the holographic shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and I power. I mean, I like wealth and power. Lie. Is it a lie? The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Oh. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. This thing? Wait, 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 before we do that, let's look at the holographic shroud, and then, um, we'll go from there. Take the shroud. Sure. Should have been, like, a hat over here or something. I already take the hat. I think I already took the hat. Messages that I don't want to read. Okay, back downstairs. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm just, like, totally ignoring skill points. What did I level? Um, I feel like I should probably in increase my handgun, but also like persuade or lie. I don't really care for well, lock picking would be helpful. Tech, um. Then. I want to be more persuasive than a liar. So there's that. The unreliable navigation. Let's go to the groundbreaker. Destiny. Welcome to the system map. Here you can see all the plans in the system as well as some special points of interest that you may have discovered. You can fly your ship to any location that you have unlocked. Though some landing bays require special codes and keys before they allow you to land there. Moving between plants is considered extremely dangerous, and all employees are encouraged to remain home or at work. Like in Corona. Cool. What you want? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreakers got a real good engineer, a lady named June Lay Tennyson. Mm-hmm. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing this by, I mean. I always got time for you, Parvati. Parvati. Spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans. She could teach me all manner of stuff. We have engineering now. We repair. Lead the crew. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? No. I guess so. Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. I bet. Reaching out in for you work beside did your dad ever work? I don't see the humor. He meant funny as in odd. Oh. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your career. When I tested out for maintenance, everyone figured it was on account of my dad. They were real unhappy with us. Why? Right. 
Well, because they were hoping their own kid would get the job and get sent back to Edgewater. When folk go away for schooling, they don't get back to where they begun. Not usually. You go straight to your first job, wherever the company's got an opening. Mm-hmm. Well, it ain't exactly cruel to have a promise of a paying job. And that's all it is. You go where the company needs you. Where your skills do the most good. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule. There's times I'm working deep in the guts of a loader, getting it all running perfect. Then I look up to see it's tomorrow, and I've blown another deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. <laughs> um, you like your classes? Oh, there were a whole lot of reading, and not nearly enough doing. Like, before they'd issue you a wrench, they wanted an essay on the design of different wrenches. Sounds like America. Then there'd be quizzes on company regulations for storage and maintenance of wrenches. Mm-hmm. As soon as I got permission, I spent all my time in the machine shop. They had all manner of parts, but they didn't want me using them, so I had to sneak them sometimes. I even slept in there. Had a hammock tied up in the rafters. Before I left, I installed a little skylight for myself, so I could see the stars. Oh, that's cute. When an engine came in, I'd strip it down and rebuild it. I mostly built for myself. Custom tools, little mechanical critters to talk to. When my roommates tried to talk, I'd get so nervous I'd be drenched in sweat. It was easier for everybody when I stayed off on my own. I doubt any of them remember me now. They, honestly, they probably don't, but it's fine. Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big old hug. And I noticed straight away that he was moving slower and stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. Dang, a little grunt. About a year. I tried to do more of the work so he could rest. His heart gave him pains. Dad never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects or listen to my fretting. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at the time. Sorry to bend your ear so long. And I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape. Okay, let's go to ground breaker. Let's bring these both these fuckers with me. Cause why not? They're part of the crew. Plasma attacks. Creatures take extra damage from plasma attacks. I feel like sometimes I talk and like the words just don't come out of my mouth enunciated. And I think of my eighth grade teacher, Miss Gallagher, in English, who would always tell us she's like, make sure you enunciate because you know we're not hood rats or nothing. And, I don't know, for some strange reason, my mouth just doesn't do the thing where it enunciates. Especially if I'm just speaking, it kind of just... I think it's because I don't really open my mouth that much. I kind of just speak. But, I, I don't know, if I focus on it, I can enunciate. Otherwise, half the time when I listen to myself back in a video, I think to myself, Wow, what are you saying? Is that even English? Because it probably ain't. <laughs> Captain. Hey, Captain. That's not the point. Damn, that's tough. Hello, friend. Identification, please. I'm not gonna give him that. You've got a ship, but you've never visited Groundbreaker. You must have just dusted off from one of those dirt side outposts. Yes. Sure did. And now we're in space. Well, welcome to Groundbreaker. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Okay, what I do? Now, hold on, this isn't the end of the world, probably. How do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. Can't miss it. 
Great. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. <laughs> Same. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. I just got here. <clears throat> you take the starch out of them, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? No. Sure, why not? Wanda Dorset over in sick day. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about Oh. Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Not at all. Oh, let's we'll see what glasses. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Cool. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Great. What else? Can I find a driver on here? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Okay. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they got to depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. Mm-hmm. Keep pushing them. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, Maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that. Would that. Of course they would. The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Thanks for the info, kid. Sure thing. Be seeing you. Okay, so I guess we're going to go to Udom, Bedford. First and foremost, first and foremost. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. I mean, sometimes you're unsavory, man. Like, shit, get over yourself, bro. This place is kind of out the way. Oh, is it here? It has to be in here. Yeah, it's in here. Oh. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. Smart. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the unreliable. A vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Facts, I'm not. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Yes, he's dead. Oof, my mother's calling me. Oh, Alex is dead. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. Yep. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging <coughs> him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Of course, of course he did. Ah, oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? Peacefully. No! How dreadful. That was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends. Becoming one with their... their droppings. How unfortunate. So about my ship, I'll say I'm sorry again. You know what? About my, uh, let's, again, let's get side. Right. 
Right, you're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? No. You haven't read the posters. He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. Well, Alex knew, or he said he did. And you have his ship. Maybe he kept some records around, or a conveniently placed note on his bedside table. Mm. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Yeah, I sure will. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Mm. It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. I don't intend to be. It's just a matter of trust. Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's, well, it's my white whale, I suppose. It's fine, really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. Great, Are you well... Free to talk? About what? Captain, if I could trouble you for a moment of your time, while we're on the Groundbreaker, I may have an idea for how we could find a translator. Mm-hmm. I've been thinking on that. There's a former associate... Uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Fortunately, we're in the perfect place to start. This is where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. Mm. Hmm. Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. I meditated led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard toss ball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. Thank you, Captain. And on that note, we're going to end this part right here. In the next part, we're going to um, go find Gladys and see what kind of stuff she has for us to do. In the meantime, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, don't catch the Rona. We don't have time for the plague. I uh, love you all. Stay saucy. You know the drill. I'm out this bitch.